Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. And last video, we got a little taste of Slayer, and we trained from level 25 to 42 to meet the Slayer requirement for every quest except for Monkey Mass 2. We need 69 Slayer for that quest, so we're going to put that off for a while. And uh, something else pretty crazy happened, which I'm not going to spoil right now in case you missed it. But if you do want to see it, check out the last video. I'm still kind of in shock about that. And we left off by finishing the Zogar Flesh Ears quest, which I think is kind of like the start of the Pirate Ghost quest series. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And the next quest in the series is Rum Deal, so that's what we're going to get started with today. I'm going to buy the Ectophile here from Purdue and Lumbridge. I think it's like 4.6k, yeah. Something really weird about it is if you buy like the diary items, there's a confirmation warning. But if you buy the Ectophile, there's no warning. You just buy it, so if you misclick or something, uh, that's on you. Alright, we're currently waiting a couple minutes for this, uh, pat- oh, well. I guess it just uh, grew. But yeah, this is the quest where we need 42 Slayer, so I'm glad we knocked that out of the way. Otherwise, we would have just been stuck after doing Zogar Flesh Eaters. If you uh, open up the world map here, it's very interesting what it says. I feel personally attacked by this. All right, we now have the Holy Wrench. That is one of the rewards from this quest, even though the quest isn't done yet. And when you have this in your inventory, when you drink a prayer potion or any uh, prayer restoring things, you restore up to two extra prayer points at the most based on your prayer level. When we're training Slayer, I'm not sure if I'll even keep it on me. Maybe if I'm like praying the whole time and using prayer potions, uh, maybe for the fight caves too, just to save a couple sips of uh, prayer potions or restores or whatever. But whenever you want to get back, you have to come all the way back to Brain Death Island and talk to Davey here. When you examine the evil spirit, it says the pun was intended. I think that's a reference to alcohol. This is what it's like to work in fast food or retail. This dialogue right here. All right, here's the end of the rum deal quest. And I think we're getting a couple levels out of this. Yeah, we got a prayer level. Yeah, it's 50 prayer. That's the requirement for uh, one of these other quests we're about to be doing. So we got that knocked out of the way. And we got a farming level. All right, next quest in the series, I think it's Cabin Fever. Yeah, so let's go do this one now. No way, they add four heads to the Cabin Fever quest. All right, and Cabin Fever quest is done. Do we have any levels from that? Yeah, crafting level. So I have access to Mostly Harmless, which is where we're at now, where all the pirates live. We can kill cave horrors once we get 58 Slayer. Go for that Black Mask, which we're really, really going to need eventually. Uh, the Book of Piracy, we have to have this on us in order to talk to pirates. Uh, a pretty big one is Charter Ship prices are permanently halved now. So every time we want to suicide and go to Zora, for example, it's half the price. Or, you know, just for traveling in general. And you can play the Trouble Brewing minigame, which we'll have to do eventually for the diary. And this book is essentially the same thing as like a Monkey Speak Amulet or a Cat Speak amulet except for pirates because apparently you can't understand the pirate's accent but when you do get rid of it you could easily reclaim it from the bookcase in your house or from bill teach in port phasmatis if you don't have the book on you and you try to talk he's like i can't understand your accent and if we talk to Bill Teach after the quest, he will give us 10,000 GP. And the next quest in this series, which I think is also the last quest in this series or whatever it is, uh, is the Great Brain Robbery. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I've been noticing the fact that I've had to go to Artie quite a bit. And every time I do that, I go to Varak, I buy water runes there, and then I teleport from there. So I decide what I'm going to do is add the Artie teleport into the Portal Nexus. We're going to start off with 1 mil and see how much it costs us. Okay, so based on the cash stack, it looks like we spent about 530k or just over that for for uh, the RD teleport, which we're gonna add right now. In my opinion, I think it's worth the cost because every time I run to the Varak rune store, that could like theoretically be a gargoyle kill. And if I'm doing that a couple times a day, that's gonna add up quite a bit. But now that we have the Faldor and the RD teleports both in here, I don't think I'll have a reason to have to get water runes anymore, really, at least for teleporting. <laughs> it's so random running into Eevee here. This is an American world too. What's he doing here? That's so weird. Small Gilnor, eh? I think I just discovered the cutest animal in RuneScape. These little puffins, they're like little penguin bird things. I want one so badly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Turns out they were recording a video and they invited me to be in it because I ran into them. So I'll link that in the description. Uh, I'll link you to Evie's channel, the video is there. Uh, and yes, it was very, very random. No, this was not staged. It may not be transportation, but Okay, that was really weird timing right when I start recording, but uh, yeah, we can now make little cats out of wood. That's pretty cool. That's really weird that that happened. We need 10 planks and 10 fur for this part of the quest, so this is gonna be fun juggling all of that. Yo, I remember this part of the quest. So he's like gonna take someone's brain out and staple it together and do some stuff with it. But instead of having to watch that, you see that cute little cutscene. Oh shit. 
Wait, <laughs> I wasn't ready. Oh my god, this part of the quest is instanced, so if we die there, uh, we lose everything. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I accidentally clicked out of the dialogue and just came out. Okay, let's uh, we'll try this again. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, now we're good. I think barrel chest can hit from like two squares away or something. Okay, I think that's the end of the quest there. Yeah, we got a prayer level from that. We got that 5k XP lamp for herb lore, no level though. We also have the barrel chest anchor, which we can pay to be able to use it as a weapon, which I think I might do eventually because it could be good for certain situations. And it's also really good because you can buy this weapon back from Purdue for 290k. So I'm going to drop it for now. If we ever do need it, we'll buy the 290k one from Purdue. There are some situations where it might be useful because of the special attack, uh, maybe for Calvary Queen possibly. And what the special attack does, it lowers the opponent's attack, defense, range, or magic. It picks one of those out random uh, by 10% of the damage dealt and we need it for a fallow step for a master clue too but yeah that's not gonna be for a long time and we get the prayer book which is also a very very interesting item which has probably its own niche uses uh, but when you're wearing a holy symbol and you recite the prayer option on the prayer book you can cure poison for the cost of some prayer points but you know as an ultimate maybe there is some good use for it on apatol at the gorilla temple there's little poisonous spiders there uh, and there's a prayer altar, so maybe it'd be useful over there. But that's the end of the quest series, so I have to figure out some quests to do next, because I haven't really thought this far ahead. I didn't think I'd make it this far. Oh, we can also now do that one Mauritania diary step, where it's like harvest watermelons from that patch. Unfortunately, we don't have any watermelon seeds right now, but I'll probably go get from temple trekking, or whenever we get from thieving master farmers or something, I'll just go and plant it right away. I've decided that today, we are going to become a legend. Here's the Legends quest, here's uh, all the requirements that we have now. It's going to be a long quest, it's not going to be fun, I will get frustrated, I will have to make unnecessary trips, I guarantee it right now. But that is why I really enjoy playing this game mode, I like the challenge, I like hating myself. The 50th and final quest that was added to RuneScape, or what we now know as RuneScape Classic, was the Legends quest, and this was considered like the toughest quest in the game, like only the most elite players would get this quest done. Although I don't think in old school it's really considered that much of a prestigious quest to have done. I can't believe Classic's been shut down for like a year now. Feels bad, man. It was like a, a relic in the RuneScape history, you know? Even though not many people played it and it was mostly bots, it's still like a monument, in my opinion. Just having the original game out there, but there are private servers, but it's just not the same as the original gem still being there. With that said, though, let's begin what will probably be... You just see that? What will probably be the most frustrating quest on the accounts to date. I'm like 30 seconds into the quest, I'm frustrated already because Slayer Music says, all right, once you get to Shallow Village, go to the bank and withdraw all these different items, which I don't have. So now we have to like leave and come back again. My life is so rough, isn't it? Oh my God, this is gonna be a mission and a half. The inventory is gonna be completely filled up. I still need a red topaz and a jade. I got a diamond before getting the other two, which is like way rare. Uh, I'm not complaining. Well, I am complaining, but not about that. <laughs> I feel like something is just going to go terribly wrong here and I'll have to make like five extra trips. Hopefully not, but I have a feeling that that's what's going to happen. You know, the bronze pickaxe just makes this so much more fun. Okay, we've got everything now. We got the red topaz and apparently cutting that was also a uh, task for the Karamja Diary. But yes, let's do this. It's pretty crazy how well your character can balance these gems on these carved rocks. Oh my gosh, getting out of this part is probably the most difficult part of the quest because they're all aggroing you and you have to go through like five dialogue messages. Oh my god, that was very close. That was very, very, very close. I start off with the... Uh, oh my god. Is this instanced? I start off with like two or three prayer points and only two Karam ones, and we survive this barely. I just found out that last hit that he just did uh, can't be negated, and that is a max hit of 16, so... Uh. Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, please don't kill me. Oh. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna risk it. We're gonna go grab some food. I accidentally attacked him instead of, uh, talking to him. Oh my gosh. I literally came straight back, and he just punched me out of here again. <laughs> I think every time I come to this area, like in all of my accounts, I always feel the need to mention how much I just love how this whole area looks. It just feels very nostalgic to me. Oh, and there we go. We finally made it to the end of the quest. Uh, for this part, we get to choose four skills to have 7,650 XP in, and Herblore is one of the options. So we're gonna put that in there four times, and uh, we're starting with 53. See how far we get. Okay, well we got from uh, 53 to 55, and uh, 55 is super strength potions. 
But yes, more importantly, here's the end of the quest, the freaking Legends quest on the Ultimate Iron Man, no bank by the way, has been completed. I feel so happy to have this quest out of the way. I've been dreading this quest for a while. Okay, so we can equip Dragon Square Shield, we can recharge Skills Necklaces and Combat Bracelets right here, or we can charge them now on the Fountain of Rune for 6 charges each. Quest is required for a Dragon Slayer 2, uh, for Barrow's Gloves we need this for RFD. Pretty sure there's at least a few diary tasks that require this quest, but most importantly if we go up this ladder right here, we unlocked the bank. But here's the actual store that's very important because we can buy our Legends cape. Let's put it on. It's such a newbie thing to wear, but it looks so freaking sick. It goes along pretty well with this armor too, but just look at it. Here's the uh, stats of it if you're curious. Bunch of defense and then yeah, nothing else. I guess it's pretty irrelevant though because the skill cape has plus nine for all the defense bonuses. But hey, it's kind of a flex for an ultimate, right? Well, maybe for like my stats. I feel like I did this quest kind of earlier than most people. I feel like most people have like higher stats than this at least. 71 combat by the way. All right, let's get out of here. And uh, with the cape, we can store it in the cape rack in the POH. Uh, I mentioned this when I first built it, but with the cape rack, no matter what tier you have, even the lowest one, you can store every single type of cape in here. The only thing you're restricted to based on each tier is the amount of skill capes that you can put in here. Okay, let's uh, put our Legends Cape in the Cape Rack for safekeeping. I was looking at the amount of quest points, and it's kind of just now hitting me how many quest points we really have. We have 219 quest points out of a total of 269 is the maximum amount you can currently have. So we are 50 quest points away from the Quest Cape. Now, of course, the more quest points you have, you generally tend to leave the more difficult or higher requirement quest for the end. So we will have to eventually get into more skilling grinds, more combat grinds. You know, being an ultimate and not being able to to use the bank makes it probably multiple times more difficult at least for some of the quests but you know the stats are starting to get up there just from doing quests and getting requirements out of the way and getting rewards from those quests uh, so we still got quite a few quests that we can do with what we have so we will keep on questing in the next video but with that being said thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope that you have an amazing day and i will see you again next time